Jury today found Lily Geyer not guilty on all counts. She was on trial in, related, in relation to the death of three-year-old Finley Boyle, who died after undergoing a dental procedure with Geyer in December of 2013. Jen Beniza was in circuit court today when the verdict was handed down. Shock and relief. That was the reaction when the jury found Lily Geyer not guilty on all counts today. Geyer left courtroom 15 a free woman. But her attorney was quick to remind everyone that there really were no winners in this case. As to part five, manslaughter by omission, we, the jury in this case, find the defendant not guilty. Dated 112318 by four persons. God bless you guys. Geyer shed tears of joy and relief, hugging her children in court after she was found not guilty on all three counts of manslaughter, manslaughter by omission, and assault. Finley Boyle's family sat stoic and silent after the verdict, clearly upset at the decision. Finley's mother, Ashley, was not in court. The verdict came nearly five years to the day Ashley took Finley into Geyer's dentist office for root canals, which required Finley to be put to sleep. Though the verdict was in Geyer's favor and her attorneys are happy with the decision, the defense attorney, Michael Green, says it's no cause for celebration. When you get down to it, we have a little girl who's gone, we have a family that will never be out of mourning. I have a young dentist who devoted her life to children. She closes her practice down. She'll never practice again. And every day she sees her daughter, she thinks of Finley. It's not a day to celebrate, and uh, you know, our hearts go out to uh, Finley Boyle and uh, her family. Uh, we are relieved, obviously, though. I mean, our position all along is this should have never, ever been a criminal case. Had Geyer been found guilty, I'm told the case could have potentially had a much larger impact on the medical community. This case could have opened the door in Hawaii for nurses, doctors, health care providers when somebody in the Attorney General's office decides, you, you know, when that patient died, yeah, maybe it wasn't just negligence. Maybe it was manslaughter by omission or, or reckless conduct. Finley Boyle's family and the prosecuting attorney declined to comment. Attorney Michael Green says the Geyer still needs to go before the licensing board to determine whether her license will be revoked. From Circuit Court, I'm Jen Boniza for KHON2 News. Back to the studio.